The U.S.'s new intercontinental ballistic missile program is facing a massive financial reassessment, with costs now projected to exceed the initial estimate of $96 billion by at least 37%. This has triggered a formal review by the Pentagon, which will explore the possibility of scaling back or even terminating the program. Called Sentinel, this program marks a long overdue effort to replace America's intercontinental ballistic missiles that have been operational for over 50 years now. So in today's video, let's explore everything we know about the largest and most complex weapon system programs ever undertaken by the US Air Force. The U.S. nuclear deterrent is built upon three primary weapon systems, Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles, or ICBMs, ballistic missiles launched from submarines, and bombers equipped with nuclear cruise missiles, or gravity bombs. This strategic framework isn't indicative of a desire for war, but rather serves as a deterrent. It emphasizes the need to demonstrate the capability of retaliation even after a surprise attack thereby discouraging potential adversaries. However, the aging components of America's strategic deterrent present a significant challenge. Ballistic missile submarines and B-52 bombers are nearing retirement. The Minuteman III, the current land-based ballistic missile set to be replaced by Sentinel, has already undergone multiple upgrades, including its booster engines, re-entry vehicles, warheads, and guidance systems. But despite these upgrades, the Air Force asserts that this system has reached a point where further extension of its service life is unfeasible. As a result, the Sentinel program is slated to take over, with the transition expected to start around 2030. However, recent reports indicate that the cost of the program has increased from its baseline by 37%, and its initial operating capability faces a two-year delay. Projected delays may extend into the mid-2030s, even as the Minuteman III becomes less dependable. Now, let's take a closer look at the missile in development itself. The Sentinel program, originally known as the Ground-Based Strategic Deterrent, commenced in 2014. Northrop Grumman took the lead in its development, securing a $13.3 billion contract from the USAF for the engineering and manufacturing development phase in 2020. As part of the broader $1.5 trillion U.S. Nuclear Weapons Modernization Initiative, the LGM-35 Sentinel program entails the modernization or replacement of the 400 launch facilities, more than 600 missile alert facilities, communication systems, infrastructure, and technologies of the Minuteman III ICBMs. This upgrade will ultimately lead to the decommissioning of the 400 Minuteman ICBMs that are currently active. The LGM-35 Sentinel will incorporate digital engineering and a modular open system architecture for interoperability, reducing life cycle costs. Its adaptable modular design will tackle evolving threat environments. This next-generation missile system features integrated launch, flight, and infrastructure systems, along with modern command and control technology. With a range exceeding 5,500 kilometers, the missile reaches any global target within 30 minutes after launch. Utilizing a parabolic trajectory, it releases its W87-1 thermonuclear missile warhead mid-flight, powered by three solid-fuel rocket motors. What's interesting is that the warhead will be developed with an additional cost of at least $12 billion, supplementing the estimated $95 billion procurement cost. The MK-21A re-entry vehicle is proposed for carrying the warhead into space, although no official statement has been given on the re-entry vehicle yet. The reconstruction of the ICBM launch infrastructure stands as the most significant works project for the Air Force in recent history. But apart from Northrop Grumman, numerous other subcontractors are also involved, including Lockheed Martin, General Dynamics, Bechtel, Honeywell, Aerojet Rocketdyne, Parsons, Textron, and Clark Construction. So, what do you think? 
Will the U.S. Air Force overcome the budget and infrastructure issues to successfully upgrade their ICBMs? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content coming up soon.